three spontaneous for you, or did you think about it ahead of time? Um, I just said, just might as well come down and pull it. Didn't really think about it. You guys had conversations about like, goals for this last third of the season. What were those conversations like? I think just being more aggressive, taking taking more open shots, um, and just trying to grow my game in that way. Uh, and I think I'm getting there. It takes time, but I'm going to get there. You get guarded in a lot of different ways, but with LeBron, he was really hanging off the right? mm-hmm. When somebody plays you like that, what are they going to focus on? I mean, I have a guy, J.J. Redick, who loves coming off handoffs and knocking out shots. So, I mean, for him, he loved it. His eyes, you know, were wide open um, getting into that. And then, you know, you see Braun trying to sprint sprint up when you see me going to the handoffs, uh, which is easier to get the, the role. Um, but, you know, we just see what we have. And if they're going to guard it like that, we're going to play the same way. How much do you love the balance of this team right now? When this five, starting five, starting yeah. to show the full potential, even today. Like I think I think it's great. I think we have a lot of different uh, options out there that we can go to um, and, and change up things in terms of who who needs shots, uh, where the shots are coming from, and then defensively, I think uh, we're, we're a great team in terms of that. Our length is is great. Uh, we're able to switch onto different guys, you know, no matter you know what the situation is. Mentally, like the feeling after the, the, all the trades and up. All the I mean, you just have you have a lot more guys who have been in situations. Him, Tobias, you know, a guy who's. Or how you play, uh, it's about winning. In terms of being more aggressive, is, is any of that as a, a you know a way to combat the way same Celtics? Guarded you last year, just like looking forward to the playoffs and trying to you know, find more ways to be effective at that level. Definitely, um, you know, with this new new five, I think it's just going to be exciting in terms of what we can do. Um, there's, there's a bunch of different varieties that we can run into. And when you mentioned, like you're talking about how you know Redick is coming off screens and like people have to come out and help. I mean, in some ways, is the new lineup you have maybe more conducive to preventing teams from doing some of the stuff they did last year because you guys have so many weapons that if they do try to say. Sack off of one guy. There's sort of ways to I mean, take advantage. Of yeah, space. definitely. But you know, standing that far back and then me handing it off to JJ's. I mean, he wants that shot, so you know, I'm going to give it to him every time if, if somebody's going to play like that. Magic mentioned that you would reach out to the Lakers about possibly meeting with him about learning some different uh, point guard techniques and things. Definitely. Like that. Um, you know, trying to learn from somebody like that would be huge. Um, getting to speak to him. You know, he's been in multiple situations where he had to play the five, you know, one championship. Um, and just the Hall of Famer and, and one of those guys that, you know, in terms of what position I'm in, you know, 6'10 point guard, I think he can help. Do you intend to ask the Sixers permission to do that? Pardon? Do you intend to ask the Sixers I mean, I'm not focused on that right now. You know, I'm focused on my team and, and what's going on, so maybe another time. Especially from the last minutes of that game on Friday and from the quarter on, you guys have fun that sense them know when the lock is down. Is that something you guys have been gaining with the confidence defensively on and how to and how and when to know when the lock fades down? I think one of the things I've noticed coming to the NBA is, uh, you know, once it gets down to the fourth quarter, guys really start to lock in because, you know, it's the last opportunity you get to really pull away or, or hold it, hold a lead. Um, and I think that's just one of, one of those things. Guys get fatigued during the game, but once it comes to that fourth quarter and the final, you know, four or five minutes, uh, guys really lock in. Ben, with all due respect, I mean, you say that you're confident pulling up from deep, mm-hmm. but we have not seen that. So moving forward from now, like, mm-hmm. is that something that you are very specifically trying to add and that we can expect to see that more often? Uh, in terms of that, I'm just taking what they give me in terms of, you know, if I see somebody back up and JJ is coming off, I'm going to give it to him. Um, you no, know, I will start pulling it, but it's not, it's not one of the things where I'm looking at. You know, it's not everything. You know, I'm not focused on just doing that. I'm going to play my game and play my strengths. Um, and, and continue to try and get better. On your way in, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button.